Hey, what's up guys? Today we're talking about pre-construction. What is the process when purchasing pre-construction condos? Today we're talking about pre-construction condos. We know that the city is booming. We know that we see a lot of buildings being built, but what's the process when it comes to buying? It's not that complex. Every builder has their own uh, specific breakdown on how they want the process to be, but in general, they're all pretty much the same. Buyer comes in, they're interested in purchasing a property. You send the builder a sheet, an offer sheet with a specific allocation, floor level, floor plan that you're looking for and the price point. And then just like any other resale transaction, the builder accepts it. Once they accept it, then you have a 10 day grace period uh, to review with your lawyer the contract in place. And you could rescind, you can walk away at that point, but after the 10 day period, that's when you're sort of firm on the property, okay? Usually a builder will ask for a deposit as well at that point, so anywhere between 5,000 to 5%. And then they have a staggered increase in deposit that leads usually up to 20%. Now, if you're a foreign investor, it goes up to 35%, but we'll leave that for another day. Once the building registers, so a few years down the line, that's when you're going to have to take possession of the property, get the mortgage set up, um, but you have a long time to get that done. Once you're firm on the deal, you have 30 days to get your mortgage in place. It's just a pre-approval and there's a lot of lenders out there that will lend specifically to pre-construction. Now, once the property is built, you'll have an opportunity to go in there and do what they call a pre-delivery inspection. That's where you check out how the finishings and everything has been installed. You make some notes on what needs to be corrected and the builder takes those notes and makes sure that it's all done before closing. That's pre-construction in a nutshell. Take a look at the description below because I'm going to provide a link to a, a blog that I wrote. I really suggest you take a look at it because I can see the future for Toronto and it's looking bright when it comes to pre-construction condos.